Hi, Robert Medlin here. Yeah, I want to today talk talk about several things that that are kind of topical uh, right now, and they're topical all the time. But uh, there was an article recently uh, about a survey that that uh, many many young people are are abandoning the faith; they're becoming atheists and agnostics. They're leaving the church, and uh, and that shouldn't be surprising. That uh, with the with the world the way it is, the the demonic influences that they're subjected to, but but children, all children have to come to a place where they have faith, where they have their own faith. You know, you, when they're young, they grow up, and they're under the umbrella of their parents' faith, and so their parents' faith carries them along, and uh, many many people are are so blessed to to never to never fall away from the faith. They they just uh, they have a deep relationship with Jesus, not just going to church because their parents did, or not just going through the motions, but they have a deep relationship with Jesus. And and, and many many kids uh, stay connected to Jesus and, and bear tremendous fruit all their lives, uh, and are effective Christians and and have great lives, and never never have to go through the thing of being lost again, you know, of being lost. And so, uh, what's happening is these kids that that are falling away uh, they're falling away into it's all the root of it's all pride you know the the devil's the devil's story and the devil's temptation is always the same he says you can you know you can be wise like god you know you, you don't have to do you don't have to to to, to worship jesus you don't have to to think about the cross he said you you can be a good person yourself that's what he tempted adam uh, adam and eve with and and uh, that's what he always does. He's, it's it's humanism. It's secular humanism. It's humanism. Uh, it's about trusting in humanity to be good, to be able to solve all of our problems. And that's what you're hearing today, uh, all over the the news and and around the world. Is humanity has to solve the problems, and humanity can solve the problems. Except there's a problem. There 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 is a problem that we're they don't know how to solve yet. And that's that you know Russia might Russia might <laughs> unleash a nuclear war. Uh, that will wipe out half the world. So there's always situations that cause us to have to go back and and look at God and look at our internal destiny. But these kids, especially uh, kids, especially are tempted to pride. You know, as they're growing in knowledge, uh, they get taught things in school. They get taught things opposed to to the Bible. They get taught things opposed to the to Jesus, and and so they just decide that they know everything. I don't know. I know many of you probably can remember a time when you thought you knew everything. <laughs> there was a time when I thought I knew everything. I thought I was smarter than everybody else, and so a lot of kids go through that. And it's it's not that you know even though they they're falling away from the faith, um, it's not like uh, they're going to be lost forever because uh, you've got great promises if you've got children that are that are in that situation. You've got tremendous promises that. Uh, that your children are going to be saved. All your children are going to be saved. You got tremendous promises that that uh, Jesus is going to rescue your kids and they're going to be saved. You got you got promises that He's going to take care of you, of you, and and and, and go get them. And He will. It doesn't matter how wicked they are. And you just you, know, you read testimonies all the time. Hear testimonies all the time about people that that fall away and they get into Eastern religions. Why do they get into Eastern religions? Because it's all about human all about human works. And, and humanity being good enough and powerful enough and so they get into these eastern religions and they get into other religions that depend on human works or they just get into being an atheist or being an agnostic or just an atheist you know don't believe in anything you know I'm, I'm I've got everything I need my, myself and so uh, so uh, there it's there it's ultimate foolishness ultimate stupidity but but really every every revival um, if we look at the Jesus movement back in the 60s and, and in that time frame, that the Jesus movement was a tremendous revival among hippies, hippies that were steeped in in uh, the Hindu religions and, and other uh, Indian religions and stuff like that. They were steeped in it. They were they were, that's what they were following, and uh, smoking pot. You know, pot was their was their was their Lord and and uh, so 
out of that out of that mess of these kids that have just left abandoned their parents rejected everything their parents believed went off on their own and and they were just into drugs and they're they're into uh, every foul every every religion that opposes Jesus you can think of you know what what's, what's God going to do how's he going to solve this problem it's not a problem for Jesus you know all Jesus has to do is just he he, he just breathes on them and and he just sends his word to them and he raises up powerful evangelists and prophets and just knocks all that junk off of them and and what happened in the 60s is all those a lot of those hippies that were the that had fallen away and were just a, in a total mess that they became the leaders of the church world for the last 50 years and so uh, that's what the lord did with that with that little situation so he's going to do the same now but we have to do we have to pray and yes lord that you promised me my kids would be saved uh, you promised me that that you you would retrieve them you would you would jerk them out of the jaws of the enemy that you would that you would save them lord reveal yourself to them and you're you would save my children lord and i believe that what your word says is true so i believe that's isaiah 49 it said um that that he would can plunder be retrieved from the fierce can captives be taken from the strong yes plunder can be retrieved from the strong captives can be retrieved from the fierce I will contend with those that contend with you. This is what Jesus says. I will contend with those that contend with you. And your children I will save. It doesn't say I might save. I will save. So so there's a lot of that going on. That's what this latest poll showed. That, that, that so many young people were were leaving Christianity. But uh, you know they've got to go off and, and, and find out that they can't do it. They've got to go off and experience uh, what it's like to be under the devil's power without any ability to resist. They've got to go off and experience those things, and in, in in order to to uh, to be able to turn back to Jesus. So the Lord's got He's got every single one of them. There's not a single one, you know. Even though they're the sands, like the sands on the seashore, He's got them all. He's got them all under control. He's going to put them exactly where he wants them. He's going to shape them exactly the way he wants them to be shaped. Uh, he's going to reveal himself to them just exactly he wants the way he wants to reveal himself to them. So the Lord's raising up evangelists and powerful evangelists and ministries to go after those kids. And and uh, but our, your job as a parent is just to uh, is just to pray for them. Is just to pray and claim the promises of God. Lord, you said. I will contend with those. You would contend with those that contend with me, and my children you will save. He didn't say except for for Mary over here, except for Joe over here. No, he said, if you believe in Jesus, I will contend with those that contend with you, and your children I will save. Glory to God. So we have that great promise. So that's going on um, in the world. There's this falling away. You know, the Jesus scriptures tell us there'd be a great falling away, and uh, and it's uh, greater now because there's you know the, the the antichrist is coming and the antichrist system is being in, put in place and so there's greater deception now and so uh, the the kids are falling away the young people are falling away but um, they're not falling away forever they're falling away just so they can they can be beat up <laughs> by the devil and then uh, come back to Jesus he'll rescue them so uh, but but we have to pray plunder can be retrieved from fear from the first captives can be taken from the strong <laughs> that's what jesus said yes it can be done and he said i will so all your household is going to be saved so uh but we've got a role to play we can't get caught up in being being put our spiritual uh put put our spirituality in neutral we've got to we've got to contend for these things and break the power of the devil over our kids and get them back <laughs> so uh and then have them bring a bunch of other kids that don't even come from Christian families. Bring them in too. So that's what the Lord wants to do is have a great harvest. He's going to have a great harvest here at the end of the age, even though uh, the Antichrist system is being put in place. Um, the uh, uh, Antichrist is is uh, is the devil's system. It's it's opposed to Jesus. It's uh, it's the opposite of Jesus. It's trusting in your own goodness uh, to be able to to. To live forever or to meet God's requirements or whatever that that it's trusting in yourself and so that's that's the Antichrist the Antichrist is is we've got everything we need in humanity we can even in fact I've seen articles where there's these, these scientists believe we can live forever because they can they can 
they can do stuff they think they can do stuff now that we can live forever so there, there's all these things trying to war against people's faith but we trust in Jesus Jesus is eternal life he is the life and our we have an, uh, an enemy or our warfare is not against flesh and blood but against the rulers principalities the wicked spirits in the heavenly realms we got a warfare against the devil and all of his high, all of his organization that he has to try to to what he's trying to do is trying to keep the full number of people from being saved so that he can prolong his existence because he knows that as soon as the full number of Gentiles are saved, that's non-Jews, and the full number of Jews that are saved that has been predetermined, when that full number has been predetermined, then the end will come. And so, uh, so that's why we're preaching the gospel to the ends of the earth because we don't know what that number is. <laughs> so we're preaching the gospel in, in every, every way we can on YouTube, in person, whatever, uh, because Jesus wants to reap his harvest and get the full harvest in, and he's going to have a grand, great harvest. So, uh, But the Antichrist, the devil, is going to have an opportunity, and this is in the plan of God, He's uh, because God is going to be, nobody's going to be able to say God wasn't just. You know, the devil can't say God wasn't just. Uh, God, is, God is just, and so... Uh, uh, God is going to uh, have that opportunity for the devil to to actually possess a human being and to and to bring a great deception on the earth, and so he's going to have that opportunity, and so he's you can already see the the formation of it with the with the the formation of the European Union and NATO. Uh, it's all based on secular humanism. Secular humanism is the, is the devil's religion. And so it's all based on secular humanism. And so uh, so these, uh, so these, we've got the European Union. We've got NATO, which is the military arm of the European Union. And America, a lot of America has fallen as secular humanism as well. And so now we're joined together in partners with them. And, and we're, we're partnering with them in, in, uh, in NATO. And so... Uh, that's that's just the devil's organization to bring about uh, his plans. His plan is to put is to eventually outlaw religion. He he hates Jews because he knows the full number when the full number of Jews are going to be saved. Then he's going to be that's going to be it. Jesus is going to come and that's going to be it. So he hates the Jews and he hates Christians. And so he's trying to stop. Uh, the full number of Christians from being saved. He's trying to stop the Jews from being saved, and he's created this, this, this umbrella of unbelief over Israel to keep the Jews from being saved. And and these things, there's these things in their mind, things that have happened to the Jews, that that keeps them from being able to even understand Jesus or believe in Jesus. But the Lord's removing that veil. He's knocking that veil down, and he's preaching in the gospel. The gospel is going forth in Israel, and it's going to go forth even more with great signs and wonders. Jesus said, unless you see signs and wonders, you'll never believe. So there's going to be great signs and wonders. All these ministries that the Lord's raising up with great power, they're going to, many of them are going to go to Israel. Many are going to be raised up that are Jews that are going to have great power and authority and do great signs and wonders. And the Lord's going to bring the harvest in among the Jews and the harvest among the Gentiles. So opposed to that, the devil is trying to keep that from happening. And so he's trying to, he's trying to develop uh, organizations that will eventually uh, persecute Christians and Jews, and uh, the mark of the beast will come up so that you have to you have to dis disavow Jesus. They won't. That's the main thing. He wants you to disavow Jesus. Disavow Jesus. They want to get rid of Jesus. <laughs> they're not going to do it. So, but that's the mark of the beast. They would to be able to buy or sell. You're going to have to make a decision about. Or you won't be able to buy or sell without the mark of the beast. So you need to prepare yourself now. You need to you need to have uh, reserves. You need to position yourself in a place where you uh, have have relatives. Just ask the Lord; He'll show you what to do. But uh, it's going to be it's going to be a hard time. So the devil's going to try to stop the harvest of 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 Gentiles and Jews. He's going to try to stop stop the harvest. So he's he's getting all these kids, you know, to to fall away from the faith right now, and and he's he's going to. He's deceiving the nations to, into this one world government. Our, our whole 
scheme is to be a one world government and it's it's like uh, that with no borders that's when you hear no borders what what that means is one world government that means we're all one and so we've got that that's what's happening and so that's what the devil's doing and it's his deal and, and so eventually he's going to rise up he's going to possess a human being that's going to rise up to lead this with great power and, and people will will follow him and adore him and and give him their allegiance and so uh, that's what the devil's plan is and then to wipe out Christianity just like he was trying to wipe out the Jews in World War II he's going to try to wipe out Christianity and he's going to try to wipe out the Jews to keep the full number of Jews and Gentiles from being saved so our job our job is to stay firmly rooted in Jesus to understand what's happening this is what's happening in the world demonic powers rulers principalities demonic spirits that that have control over regions and states and governments are are coming together and for the first time they're willing to work together now and before they were always fighting and trying to get power you know that's the way the devil is wanting to get power they were always fighting but now they're beginning to work together they want to this is the demonic powers that are moving on these people to 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 form this one world government and uh, it's, it's a supernatural thing that's taking place and so the whole purpose of it is to get the so that, that those that are opposed to their agenda, which includes, uh, which which includes anything that's opposed to secular humanism, which is Christianity, uh, that those people are going to have to be uh, converted, <laughs> or they're going to have to be eliminated. So th that's what the devil's planning, and he will eventually fully possess a human being, and with great, he will have great authority, and people will just love him and adore him, and people will follow him, and. And just just adore just want to be uh, he'll have them under his control and he will do signs and wonders and miracles to deceive people and pull them away from Jesus because he wants the full number of Jews and Gentiles to not be saved and so that's what's going on right now we're in the middle of a of the of the end times we're in the middle of the last harvest we're in the middle of the Antichrist developing his system to control the harvest we're in the middle of it so uh, we need to know what 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 to do we need to pray get involved and help work organizations that are working for the harvest that are working to bring in people evangelism we need to get in we need to prayer is the first thing and then um, working with people helping people supporting them financially any other way we can the ones that are the harvesters support the harvesters the Lord wants us to support the harvesters. This is the end times. The, uh, the angels are going out. The harvesters are going out to bring in the harvest. This is the harvest time. So that's what churches are for. We're going to the churches are for the harvest, and so we're the we're, we're the harvest is going to the people have a place to come to be taught about Jesus and learn more about Him. They have a place to, for safety, and so well, that's what church is about. So we should be strong enough to be able to do that now. We should be able to strong enough to be able to multiply by factor of 10, you know, in a short period of time. We need to just be able to handle that. And, and we've got, thankfully, we've got all the Internet uh, ministries that are that are able to, to feed people in Israel. Uh, the Internet is being used to reach the Jews, which is phenomenal. And so... Uh, because as soon as somebody confesses, a Jew confesses he believes in Jesus, usually they get thrown out of their family and, and, and ostracized from their jobs and everything else. So we have to pray for them. But Jews are coming to Jesus. And so uh, we just want to be a part of that and not be overwhelmed. Don't get caught up being part of the Antichrist system. You know, the Antichrist system is wanting to... That, if you look at what's going on with the, with the European Union and NATO and everything... The, the Antichrist you know, Antichrist system is, is trying to exercise control to bring everybody under their control. And these people don't know what's going on. They think they're, they think they're doing wonderful things. <laughs> but, but really, they're under the control of the devil. And the Antichrist is going to be set up. And uh, the devil is going to try to fulfill his purpose of, of eliminating Jews and Christians. And he, just like he tried to eliminate the Jews in World War II through Hitler. So... A bit a little redundant here but it's very important and we need to think about these things we need to when you watch the news you know pray that the Antichrist would be stopped because he wants to he wants to conform everybody he wants everybody to be part of his system is that that would be stopped you know and and uh, 
you can't take sides of with Russia or against Russia, but Russia happens to be standing in the way of the Antichrist system. He's t Russia got in the way of it, you know, because they were trying to just, you know, the Antichrist is trying to swallow up Russia because Russia and China are the big, are the big, uh, uh, they're the ones that are holding back their plans. <laughs> So it doesn't matter, you know, Russia, Russia, you know, China's communist, Russia, you know, Russia's got their problems. So it's not whether Russia's right or China's right. It's the, it's stopping the Antichrist from forming this one world government and forcing people to deny their faith in Jesus ultimately. So that's 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 what the the deal is. And so uh, we pray for the war to, to be over in Ukraine, for people's lives to be restored. But we pray that that Antichrist system would be broken down, that it would be stopped, that it wouldn't, that it would lose ground, not gain ground. In Jesus' name, <laughs> we pray for the harvest in in Russia and and the harvest in Ukraine and the harvest in China. Glory to God! There's great harvest in 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 those lands, and so we pray for that and pray for pray for peace. But understand what's what's going on. These aren't humans that are doing this. These are demonic powers that are causing all this turmoil. Demonic powers, and they're joining together in unity to form this w one world government that's bringing everybody under their control. And so that's why there's open borders. If you have open borders, you have no countries. That's that's what the open borders thing is about. Is that if there's no borders, there's no countries. And so we're all one. We're all one. If there's no borders, that's what's happening. <laughs> so we can resist that in prayer. We don't have, we don't have to be stupid about it. We, we can resist it and stop it and not fall into the trap of being part of it. You know, and and you know, being an instigator. We got to realize what's going on. So anyway, the Lord caused you for this hour. The reason you're alive. The reason you uh, are watching this video is the Lord wants you to stand up in prayer and and to stop in prayer. Uh, the plans of the Antichrist and to release the harvesters with power to go throughout the earth to bring in the full harvest. That's that's why you were created. So to be here right now. And if your children are out there messing around, just trust Jesus. Jesus is going to take care of them. They're going to be back. They're going to be back. He's going to He's going to save them. They're, they're not going to They're not going to stay out there. He said He said I promise you I'll save your children. So that's what Jesus says. So uh, anyway. Uh, be alert. <laughs> Be alert. Watch your mind. Watch your thinking. Walk in love. You know, always walk in love. When you think, think about people, walk in love. Jesus wants all men to be saved. He wants all people to come to the knowledge of Jesus. He wants all people to be saved. So we have to walk in love and, and not get not not get in the, the spirit of the age. The spirit of the age is a false unity and it's a false love that wants to kill everybody that's opposed to it. But we want to be rooted in Jesus and loving people, loving them into the kingdom, loving them. Lord, bring them into the kingdom. Pray that they would all be the worst ones you can think of. Pray that they would be saved in Jesus' name. That's what I do all the time. <laughs> well, God bless you guys and uh, have, have, an awesome, have an awesome day. Put this into practice. Do a lot of praying in Jesus' name.